Olá, amigos! Eu sou Nelsinho Toledo, falando de cinema para vocês pela TV Votorantim. Inicialmente, eu gostaria de lembrá-los que vocês podem entrar em contato conosco através do e-mail falando de cinema tvv, arroba, E o nosso destaque no programa de hoje é a coleção de Hollywood Collection, que está sendo disponibilizada aqui no Brasil em DVD pela distribuidora Focus Filmes. Essa coleção traz as biografias dos astros e estrelas que encantaram multidões durante a Idade de Ouro de Hollywood. A coleção foi organizada por Gene Feldman, um veterano homem da Broadway que foi responsável pela realização de muitos documentários, ele também foi editor de livros e também produtor de show da Broadway. Gene faleceu em 2006. Conheçam agora algumas das celebridades da coleção de Hollywood Collection. Greg and I are about to separate and never ever see each other again. And it was goodbye. And Willie said, now, you know, I want you to cry and be really heartbroken. I was heartbroken, but not being very professional. Uh, I, 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 I didn't know how to, to cry tears or invent them. And it sort of didn't happen. It was one, two, three, four, five takes, and there was still no tears. And Willie, who had always been very gentle and very sweet with me, came over to me and said, oh, this is enough of that. And for sake. You know, are you going to cry or not? Or, I mean, are we going to stay here all night? I was so upset at being so angry with me that I burst into tears and they shot the scene. God kissed her on her, on her cheek and, and there she was. do acting where they say they hold up a picture of themselves and say this is me and this is what I do and can do and will do what I like what gives me pleasure and the real trick of acting for me is I hold up a mirror and I say this is you and this is what you are and this is what you will do and this is how you will behave. And it's the shock of recognition that people should see in my work. When people say, how did he know that about me? And I've always been the happiest when I've been the most successful at that particular thing.
Ingrid Bergman had a freshness and vulnerability. She was able to project that quality all of her life. Millions of movie fans recognized it and adored her for it. Her life was a demonstration of herself as seen through a camera lens. I believe that's how she saw herself too, and I believe she always craved to get back in front of the camera. That's where she wanted to be. So if you say, did she get what she wanted in life? Absolutely, that she got. For me, more than anything, she was my mother, my mommy, you know, the one that took care of me when I was sick, the one that would say, you know, your, your T-shirt is really too dirty, you gotta change. You know, I've read the, the Mommy Dearest books and the books about children who have had many complaints about their parents' behavior. Now, I don't think you're going to see one of those books from any of my mother's children. And she wasn't there all the time. So you might say, well, there would be a book in that. But nobody is going to. None of her children are going to. And you know why? Because we all loved her. She was fun.